What's up guys, this is Omega Liar, and today I'm bringing you a video that's kind of in response to one of the earlier Forza videos I did. Um, in Forza 4 I've done muscle car videos, in Forza 5 one of the first videos I did was Mustang Camaro. Well, here you have the Mustang Boss 302 from 1969 versus the Camaro SSS from the same year. And this is the rivalry that started it all. Um, eventually I'll get to some of the other cars that were prevalent at the time, you've got the Firebird, you've got the Charger. Uh, you've got plenty of other cars, but in reality, the main two players ha were, have been, and always likely, as it seems, will be the Camaro and the Mustang. Now, let's talk about them. The Mustang Boss 302 had a big uh, Ford V8 engine producing 290 brake horsepower. This car was fast, this car was light, this car could handle, and this car was customizable in every sense. Um, for those of you who don't know, the Mustang was really the beginning of the revolution of customizable cars. Before that, it was uh, cars were built and maybe your father would own them, he would take it here and there, there was nothing to it. But in the Mustang, you were given options. You were given choices of engines, choices of interior, choices of color, choices of styling. And you got all sorts of things that just were not, didn't exist in the car industry. And that's what made the Mustang so famous and so popular. And not to mention the fact that it sold like anything else. I mean, it was one of the best selling cars for years. Uh, if I remember correctly, it sold over a million in the first year on th this car alone. So the Mustang is incredible. Uh, and with all of its power and its weight, uh, it actually was able to pull a pretty good time. Uh, it was a time. Obviously, these are D-Class, and not expecting anything amazing, but it was a 136.629. Now, uh, that goes without saying, the Mustang is, uh, particularly the Boss 32, is one of the best looking cars of all time. And in my opinion, I think it's much better looking than the original uh, Chevy Camaro. But the Chevy Camaro has a few other things on its side. It's more powerful, producing over 300 brake horsepower. And, uh, I mean, it is heavier, but it does have the power on its side, so it's really going to be a matter of handling versus speed. Um, but we do have to keep in mind, the Mustang was much more popular than the Camaro was, uh, especially in the earlier years. This actually changed more recently, but the Camaro, uh, even with its higher power and uh, lots of similar options, it, it never just it never sold as well as the Mustang. I mean, I think there's probably good reason for that. The Mustang was, was the revolutionary when this was a response, but... Um, go that goes without saying. In my opinion, I think the Mustang uh, from this time was better looking. Uh, I don't think that always remains true. Obviously, with the most recent models, they've revamped the originals. Uh, they've both done uh, retro styling with a modern take, and I think the Camaro turned out nicer looking from that, but at this time, I would take a Mustang in a day. Um, that being said, I, I don't know how many of you are actually interested in racing D-Class cars, um, so I, I don't do it too much myself, so I can't give too many tips about upgrading, but as you can see from both of these laps, these cars are a little all over the place because they are powerful and they do have almost zero grip. Uh, so I mean, if you were going to go about upgrading them, you're going to want to try and fix that problem, but um, I, I can't really call myself qualified in the sense to talk about that. I only know about the cars themselves. All well, the times they got, and for those of you who are wondering, the Camaro SS, uh, the Chevy Camaro SS, got a 138.067, making it about a second and a half slower than the Mustang. And I mean, it might have more power, but it just can't handle its own weight. So uh, the Mustang was faster. It's not always true, but in this case, it is. Uh, and for those of you who liked the video, as always, comment, rate, subscribe. I'll see you in my next commentary. Thank you for watching.